go up to uh, California tournaments. They've done that before. Uh, so familiar name to me. Pretty good ho Uh So we'll have to see what these two players can do. Yep. And we're going on Jules Vale again. Classic pick. Yeah, so far, so far only one set has deviated. Yeah, I gotta say though, uh, I think this is just a uh, ROC thing, but uh, ROC players love Jules Vale. You know, starters in general, in general, but yeah, Jules Vale is a in very... It's, I it's remember commenting a, comment a, uh, a stream, <laughs> and uh, my, my co-commentator like, went a little crazy, because we saw Jules Vale, I think, ten times. Ten times? Yeah. Yeah. That's not. That's and he was not just like begging, like, please, visible. you know, pick something else. But uh, I don't mind it. It's a good stage. It's a good stage. It's a very common starter pick, I'd say, just because it's so neutral. Right? I, I would it's say it's like very good most... for filling out your opponent too. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's not really a lot of weird things happening to get in the way. It's very basic layout, very basic blast zones. It's just it's plain and simple. So, as much as I sometimes feel tired of it, I cannot blame anyone for picking it. Yep. So we here we have the uh, Hoden Trouble Knight matchup. So how do you think Hoden wins this? Um, I don't know if he does necessarily. Hoden really? does struggle a little bit with destroying characters. Uh, I definitely that's like a like a, a forty percent chance that he loses this matchup, though I'd say, because uh, you know against a character with like Shovel Knight that doesn't have the greatest neutral, Hoden's own limitations with like movement become a lot less pronounced. And I think Shovel Knight uh, struggles a lot in this matchup until he gets gloves at that point. It, it can become yeah, like neutral knee, uh, like kind lot. of 50-50, maybe even in winning a little bit. But if Hoden can get those early stocks and just not let him get that money. Yeah, and boy can Hoden get those early stocks, but the question is, will he right now? Going for the Dynamo Mail. The, uh, <laughs> you love to see the, uh, the, the, the sweat true... boosted. Up B. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the Hodan. They do call that the Hodan. Going for these sort of mud wave down bees. I definitely think Hodan can have a much easier time as guarding SK with like ES fair than most characters can. Like he doesn't really have to care about all those like side B wall bounce, up air, up B sort of. The, the, the trickiest part is just getting Shovel Knight off stage. Yeah, I definitely think so. Uh, Shovel Knight's boxes are probably pretty good at stuffing out yep. whatever Hodan's trying to do. And goes for the armor instead of, uh, instead of equipment. Oh, into the upstrong. Very nice. Yeah. And the pretty even game. 60, yeah, 66%. Bring... Like, definitely very doable. Yeah, this was looking like it might have been a 3 stock earlier. Seems like yeah, Dino so Mail has nerfed... You see the adaptation. Uh, nerf Silver Cyanide, if anything. Yeah, Ooh, definitely. And catches it down tilt. It's a four strong, getting rock out. Yep. You know, Shumlai's only stage control right now. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's a 100 frame commitment. Yep, this is a very good Shumlai. position for Hoden to be in. Like, ha all your sweat up, your uh, your charge. Yeah, maybe going for an up strong Ooh, that's scary. or something there, but can he get caught out by the shockwave? Shumlai, up shockwave, definitely a little tricky to get around just because you can't really tell where it is. It's like an invisible ish hitbox. Um, one easy way around it, though, is you can just short hop. Short hop goes over it, but that's going to be unfortunate. And burn, burn burning the wall jump is a little early, unfortunate. Yeah. Without the X on, on the uppy, can't really do it. All right, so this, we're going to spirit tree. Hopefully, if Biopic Puma is going to make this back, we're going to see some very early up kills on this stage. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I if don't... I was playing Shovel Knight, this would be uh, one of my go-to bands. Probably this, uh, maybe Forest Floor, probably Tempest. Yeah, Forest Floor is not a stage you want to play against Hodan either. Definitely. Um, I mean, maybe it's, it's possible that SK can get around like the recovery issue a little better with those side platforms, although so far that hasn't really been a problem for uh, Silver Cyanide, because Biotic Puma's just not really been in position to punish with those EX fairs a lot of the time. Yeah, I, th I, I think and Puma is playing a little bit nervous, like not really going for those parries, uh, you know. Yeah. Especially like especially on those slow, predictable moves like, um, you know, uh, Shovel Knight recovery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, there's a lot Hodang can do about it. It's just you have to you have to risk a little bit to do it. Yeah, and going uh, for the armor, guys, it, it's an interesting move. The thing I've noticed a lot about armor is I don't know about you if you ever use it, but kind of subconsciously conditions you. It's like I have to start going for you know uh, down there. Downer, yeah. And then you're like, and then you get um, then you get your charge, and you're like, well, I have to use a smash attack now. Yeah, yeah. It's very hard. It's like, to, well, like, you know, not... fought it. Yeah. That's why I usually go for uh, gear first, gear or gloves first. That makes sense. I mean, you definitely do lose the utility. Like, if you buy the item second, then that means you can use neutral B to gather gems all the way until you have the gold for everything. Uh, not really the case if you buy the item first because then you lose neutral B, but there's definitely a lot of value in that. They are cheaper. They can, in some cases, be more valuable than armor is. Especially Dynamo Mail, not usually the better of the two, but maybe a preference for Silver Cyanide. Maybe it's just good in this matchup, you know? <laughs> you want to out Hodan Hodan, you use like freaking Dare up strong. It's basically down B, up B. And it's going to be up there, so. Silver Cyanide with a pretty confident lead. I will Dare say, though, that is a that very spirit. nice. That is a very nice thing in this matchup where you can uh, you can do down air on the sweat. Yeah. To uh, get your charge. So it's yeah, a very Hoden's nice way really of punishing Hoden. For just like setting those up, yeah. And I mean, we haven't seen that for a bit from Baptist Puma. Just trying to get the spear cell. Yeah, yo, you definitely want to like work on your sweat position against Hoden because if you're very nice He's uh, up there, up there yeah, chain. Yeah, barely within that hitbox. Yeah, if you can get all of your sweats set up in the exact right place, you can like uh, use Tornado to get a lot of percent off, especially uh, early percent. I've seen some Hodens just spam Tornado and uh, it can be very effective. Yeah, that move, I swear, is just like, when you try to parry it, it stops moving until the parry is done. I just, I can't do it then. It's, it's a very big, mobile, scary move to get hit by. And that's really what you're setting up spirits to do, is to get that move, because most of the other variations aren't great. Uh, down B is okay, but you've got to do a little bit of call-out with it, and Nato's just, Nato's just really yep. broken. Beautiful early stock. Yeah, with the backer off the top. Yeah, I'm surprised we, uh, we're, we're going same stage. Yeah. I mean, this is... We were saying this is probably a pretty hoedown favorite stage, so I don't necessarily blame Puma yep, for this. And there's the up Going right back no charge, out, that is a... Uh, doesn't get yeah. the charge, but does not need it. Mm -hmm. Preparing those fast wall nares uh, on Wake Up, that is something that Puma has been doing a lot. A pretty common hoedown thing. I've noticed, so definitely good to be able to call that out. Using those new buffs for the uh, forward air into neutral air. Yeah, cut out that time. Trade. Brings a sweat. Really rolling through that, yes, fair. Going for the back air again, but it's not it's a rough position the end. situation. Getting gold armor, okay. Okay. I mean, flats. you weren't getting that much off Dynamo Mill anyway. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe those jumps make it just a little bit harder to tell what you're, uh, you're doing. Yeah, I guess so. Not really, not at all. No, no, not really. Really, it's it's gold it's, armor. It's pure flex. It gets a little greedy with the parry. Okay. The eye That's always the worst dealing in rivals, where it's uh, you parry someone and you charge your smash attack just long enough that yeah, you get counter parry. parry. Oh, but the double count SD. down being the other way. That's going to be a 3-0 from Silver Cyanide, sending Baptic Puma into losers and advancing on to winners finals to uh, face Pindon, I believe. All right. I see Koa again. Yeah, uh, versus Bagman, and we are starting on 